Hey there, my name is Chelsea and you're watching The Student Architect. Today I want to show you three different ways to copy objects in SketchUp. So here you can see I'm working on very much a working model for a class that I'm teaching on how to build a tiny house in SketchUp. So if you're interested in learning how to use SketchUp or if you're getting ready to build your own tiny house, then consider taking my class over at the studentarchitect.studio slash classes. And you can also find a link to that class in the description box below this video. So the first method for copying is the simple copy and paste. So uh, I'll click on a stud that I want to copy and I will hit Control or Command C if you're on a Mac and Control or Command V. And you can see here that it's made a copy for me. Um, the problem that I have with this method though is that I have no control over my base points and I don't have the capability to copy an object in relation to another object. And that's something that I'll get into in one of the later methods. So I'll just hit escape to get out of that and it will just delete itself. So another way that we can use the, the simple copy and paste is to paste in place. So that'll be useful here when I want to break this tall stud up into two smaller studs. So I want to, uh, I want to have these studs stacked uh, below the window and above the window. So the easiest way that I can do that is hit Control or Command C, and then I'll paste in place. So instead of hitting Control or Command V, I actually have a keyboard shortcut that I created for the paste in place, which is just V. So I'll hit V, and now I have identical instances um, of these studs in the same exact place. So what I'll do now is hit S for scale, and I could have just gone over to the toolbar over here and clicked on the scale icon and now I'll click on this center node here and I'll just drag them up to uh, rest on the top of that header there and now you can see that I still have these two studs here as well and I want to drag them down below this window so I'll do the same thing um, I'm in the scale command and I'll just drag them right down there so that is a pretty useful tool when you want to make sure that your components are aligned and it'll save you a little bit of time. So next what I want to do is before I start building my interior wall here, I want to replicate this condition that I've created here so that this wall has something to tie into. So I could simply select and rotate and move it into place over here or I could mirror it which I cover in another video, but I'm going to show you another way that I could do that. So the second method that I have for copying is using the move tool. So we'll click on the object that we want to copy and then we'll hit M on our keyboard or you could go over to the toolbar and click the move icon. And I'm going to select the base point that I want to move from. So that'll be right there. And while I'm in the move command, you can see that it's just moving that object right now. But if I hit control or option, if you're on a Mac, you can see that it then creates a copy of that object. And if I click the control or option keys again, you can see that it will toggle that on and off, whether it's copying or if it's just moving that object. So now that I have that uh, copying, I can just drag it over and click on the point that I want to place it in. So another cool thing that you can do with the move tool is use other objects in your model as your reference points. So what I'm gonna do now is go back into the move tool now that, I've, now that I have this selected. So I'll hit M on the keyboard and instead of picking a point on the object that I'm trying to move, I'm gonna select another object in the model. So I'll click here for my first point and I'll hit control or option again to make sure that I'm making a copy. Then I'll click my second point. And now I have a stud on either side of this bottom plate here, just like I have on the other side. And now what I need is another stud, a third stud that's perpendicular to, this, to these two studs here that will fit snugly in between them. 
So the best way that I can do that is by using the third method, which is using the rotate tool. So I can either press Q on my keyboard or I can go over to the toolbar and hit the rotate icon. And if you're having trouble um, aligning to a certain axis, then all you have to do is make sure once you get the axis that you want. For, right, for me, I want the blue axis right now and I can hold shift to make sure that it stays there. So I'll click on the first point, then my second point, and then I'll choose the, I'll rotate in the direction that I want it to go in. So just like the move tool, all you have to do is hit control or option and it will create a copy. So I know that I want the interface of my stud to be aligned with the inner edge of this bottom plate here. So when I hover over it, it'll tell me that it's aligned to that edge and I'll just click off to make sure that it's aligned. And now you can see I have successfully duplicated the end wall condition for this interior wall so that the interior wall now has something to tie into. So these are my three methods for creating a copy in SketchUp. So just to recap the three methods that we have here, the first was the simple copy and paste and the copy and paste in place. The second method was to use the move tool and hit control or option to create a copy. And then the last method was using the rotate tool, which again, you would use the control or option keys on your keyboard to create a copy. So I really hope that you found this helpful. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, take a moment to subscribe and make sure that you turn on the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. And again, if you're interested in my class on how to build a tiny house in SketchUp, you can find that over at the studentarchitect.studio slash classes or in the description box below this video. And lastly, if you would like to support my work, you can do so in a variety of ways over at the studentarchitect.studio slash contribute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.